Welcome to the Psychology and Physical Training channel, The Enigma of Personality. Ever pondered why we behave the way we do? What makes us unique? Let's dive into the fascinating world of personality traits. These traits, subtle yet profound, shape our actions, our reactions, and even our aspirations. They make you, well you, and me, unmistakably me. But what exactly are these traits? And how can we define, measure, and understand them? Enter the stage, Raymond Cattell, a giant in the field of personality psychology. His revolutionary work, The Factor Analytic Trait Theory, offers a dynamic lens through which we can explore and comprehend our complex personalities. Cattell's theory breaks down our characteristics into definable traits, providing a roadmap to our individuality. The beauty of this theory lies in its ability to capture the essence of our personalities, the unique blend of traits that sets each of us apart. Unraveling this mystery starts with understanding Cattell's view of personality. Cattell's view of personality. Raymond Cattell, a prominent psychologist, had a unique perspective on human personality. Cattell's philosophy was centered around the idea that personality is not a singular, unchanging entity, but rather a complex, multi-dimensional construct. He believed that our personalities are made up of a multitude of different traits, each contributing to the unique individuals we each become. Cattell was a firm believer in the power of empirical evidence and scientific method. This was not a man who was content to rely on intuition or guesswork. No, he approached the study of personality with the same rigor and methodical precision as a physicist might approach the study of the natural world. He collected data, analyzed it, and drew conclusions based on his findings. He was particularly interested in the concept of traits, those enduring patterns of thought, feeling, and behavior that define us. Cattell believed that these traits were not static but rather dynamic and constantly interacting with one another. He saw them as the building blocks of personality, each one a vital piece in the complex puzzle that makes up a human being. Cattell's dedication to a scientific approach in the study of personality was groundbreaking. His work moved the field of personality psychology away from abstract theorizing and towards a more empirical, data-driven approach. Cattell's perspective laid the foundation for his renowned 16 personality factors. His view of personality as a multidimensional construct, shaped by a multitude of interacting traits, continues to influence the field of psychology to this day. Cattell's 16 personality factors, or 16 PFs, are the cornerstone of his theory. These factors, derived from his factor analytic trait theory, provide a comprehensive framework for understanding and predicting human behavior. Let's delve into what these 16 factors entail. First up, warmth. This factor represents the extent to which individuals are caring and kind towards others. It's followed by reasoning, which is all about cognitive abilities and how well individuals solve problems. The third factor is emotional stability, which relates to how well an individual handles stress. It's followed by dominance, which denotes an individual's ability to assert themselves in a group. Liveliness, the fifth factor, pertains to the level of enthusiasm and energy an individual exudes. Next, we have rule consciousness, which denotes how dutiful and responsible an individual is. The seventh factor, social boldness, represents the degree of comfort an individual has in unfamiliar social situations. Sensitivity, the eighth factor, concerns how individuals respond emotionally to their surroundings. Vigilance, the ninth factor, is about how wary or trusting an individual is. Abstractedness, the tenth factor, refers to how imaginative or practical an individual is. The eleventh factor is privateness, which is about an individual's tendency to be discreet or forthright. Apprehension, the twelfth factor, pertains to the level of worry or confidence an individual has. The thirteenth factor, openness to change, relates to the willingness of an individual to embrace new experiences. Self-reliance, the fourteenth factor, denotes the level of independence an individual prefers. The fifteenth factor, perfectionism, is about the degree to which an individual strives for flawlessness and high performance standards. Finally, tension, the sixteenth factor, refers to the level of impatience or relaxation an individual typically exhibits. These factors, individually and collectively, provide a comprehensive understanding of an individual's personality, helping predict their behavior in various scenarios. They are not standalone attributes but interrelated aspects of the complex human personality structure. The 16 PFs are a comprehensive tool, but Cattell didn't stop there. He further refined his theory with the specification equation. The specification equation. 
The specification equation is Cattell's method of predicting behavior based on personality traits. Let's delve into the heart of this equation. At its core, it's all about predicting how an individual's personality traits, those 16 fascinating factors we just discussed, will influence their behavior in any given situation. Imagine this equation as a complex, intricate map, charting the path of behavior through the terrain of personality. It uses the 16 PFs as navigational tools, guiding us towards an understanding of how these traits interact with environmental stimuli to produce specific responses. Just like in a mathematical equation, each personality factor is like a variable that can change in value depending on the situation at hand. These variables, when plugged into the equation, give us a prediction of behavior. But remember, this isn't a crystal ball. It's a tool, a guide. It doesn't provide definitive answers but rather probabilities, possibilities. It gives us a way to predict how a person might behave, not how they definitely will. This equation is a work of art in its own right, a testament to Cattell's belief in the complexity and uniqueness of human behavior. It emphasizes the importance of understanding the intricate interplay between personality traits and the environment, and how this interplay shapes our actions and reactions. This equation is a powerful tool but understanding it fully requires a look at how personality develops. Development The development of personality traits is a complex process, influenced by both nature and nurture. Now let's delve into Cattell's views on this intriguing process. In his theory, Cattell emphasized the interaction between genetic factors and environmental influences. He proposed that our inherent genetic makeup, which we inherit from our parents, provides a blueprint for our potential personality traits. However, this blueprint is not a final, unchangeable plan. It's more like a rough sketch, subject to refinement and modification. Enter environmental factors. These include our upbringing, our cultural surroundings, and the unique experiences we encounter throughout our lives. These factors can either nurture or inhibit the development of certain traits. For instance, a naturally introverted child raised in a socially active environment might develop more extroverted tendencies over time, Cattell believed that our personalities are a dynamic blend of these inherited and acquired traits. He saw each person as a unique cocktail of these influences, resulting in a personality that is as unique as a fingerprint. This perspective places a significant emphasis on the role of personal growth and development in shaping our personalities. It suggests that who we are is not set in stone at birth but rather is a fluid and evolving entity molded by a complex interplay of our genetic predispositions and life experiences. Understanding this development process sheds light on why some people develop psychopathologies. And that, dear listener, is the essence of Cattell's view on personality development. Psychopathology, psychopathology, or the study of mental disorders, is intrinsically linked to personality traits. With this understanding, let's delve into Raymond Cattell's perspective on psychopathology. Cattell believed that the foundation of psychopathology was rooted in our personality traits. He suggested that certain traits, when exaggerated or out of balance, could lead to the development of mental disorders. This idea was a departure from traditional views which often looked at mental disorders as separate, isolated conditions. Cattell's theory posits that an individual's personality, made up of various traits, can create a predisposition towards certain mental health issues. For instance, a person with a high degree of neuroticism may be more susceptible to anxiety or depression. Conversely, a person with low openness might struggle with rigid thinking, potentially leading to obsessive-compulsive disorder. Cattell's perspective also highlights the fluidity and interconnectedness of mental health and personality. It suggests that by understanding and managing our personality traits, we may be able to influence our mental health. In essence, Cattell's view of psychopathology is not just about labeling and treating mental disorders, but it is a holistic approach that considers the whole personality. It's about understanding the individual, their traits, and how these might interplay with their mental health. So the next time you consider the concept of mental health, remember Cattell's theory. Understanding psychopathology through the lens of personality traits offers valuable insights into human behavior. It's not just about the disorder, it's about the person. Conclusion Raymond Cattell's Factor Analytic Trait Theory is a comprehensive approach to understanding human behavior. This theory, with its 16 personality factors and specification equation, offers us a well-rounded view of personality. It helps us understand how our traits develop over time and influence our behaviors, even in the realm of psychopathology. 
This theory is not just about understanding individuals, but also about human growth and potential. By understanding our personality traits, we can better comprehend our behaviors, our strengths, and our areas for growth. And if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe and follow the Psychology and Physical Training channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.